Hey, what is going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, on your request, I am going to review yet another screen recorder other than OBS, which is a really handy tool and good for beginner level. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. So the screen recorder for today's video is phone pause screen recorder which can record anything and everything on your screen. It has tons of features and with its new update it has become much more powerful. You can download it from the link in the description below and you can check out the official specifications. It's really good for you. Once you open up the application, the interface looks very very clean. You have dedicated section for video recorder, audio recorder, game recorder, window and phone recorder as well. You also have all of the features that OBS has in this screen recorder. In this video, we're going to be breaking down all of the components of this recorder and I will tell you my honest opinion about it. So the first thing that I really liked about the screen recorder is it has a cleaner UI. You only see a limited number of things on your screen, so it is less tedious and it has all customizability that you need. The best thing about the screen recorder is the dedicated game recorder and dedicated phone recorder screen over here, which lets you record your game or your phone screen without any interruptions. For this instance, today I will be showing you guys how you can record your gameplays really easily. And for that, we're going to be using the game recorder feature of phone pause screen recorder. Simply click on it and you need to run this as administrator for that feature. So just run this as administrator and click on OK. All right. so. For this instance, we are going to use Fortnite to record our gameplay. So for that, you need to find your game screen right over here. Then you also get an option to enable your webcam so you can record your face while you're playing the game. And this is really essential. Right now, I do not have my camera, but you can turn this feature on and it will pop a window right on your screen. This window will go away once you start recording, but you can place the window wherever you want to be your face cam in the video you're recording. Now, I personally like to keep it on the top left or the bottom right, but you can keep it as you want it. For this instance, we're not going to record our webcam. The third option is all about your system sounds and this help you configure your default device. You need to keep your system sound on so you can record your gameplay's voice and you can select your microphone by clicking on this settings gear. In the preferences, you need to select your system sound to your headphones as well as your microphone sound to your current microphone and you can see my level goes up and down as I speak in the mic. This software offers you microphone noise cancellation as well as noise enhancement. You can enable these options according to your preference. If you have a higher background noise, you can enable the noise cancellation and it is a built-in effect to decrease the noise which is captured by your microphone, allowing you to enhance your audio recordings. Also microphone enhancements, let's say you have a very old microphone and you have a static recording in your microphone. This will automatically fix all of those statics so you can turn on this option as well if you meet that criteria. However, I will just keep on the noise cancellation on so you guys can hear me crisp and clear. Simply click on OK and you should have everything set up to record your gameplays. Now, before starting the recording, I would suggest you guys to go into the settings and you can change each and every preferences according to your requirements. In the recordings panel, you can show countdown before recording and there are all of these settings where you can save your screenshots to video settings, everything that you need. For me, I would like to record on MP4, H.264, AAC at 8-bit and video quality, I would always prefer high or highest and frame rate, it can record up to 60 FPS. Make sure to keep your keyframe interval to 2 seconds as it will reduce all of the lags and screen tearing possible. For the audio format, keep it MP3, codec keep it MP3 and audio quality should always be lossless. Some other cool features of this application is the mouse and keystroke. Let's say you're recording a tutorial video, you can record your mouse cursor and you can also record the clicks. So whenever you click on your screen, you will see a yellow or any of these highlighted areas above your mouse and it is really beneficial to grab viewers attention. Then you also have a keystroke option where you can show keystrokes. So let's say the button you are pressing will always be shown on your screen. 
However, for game recording, I would not recommend you guys to enable both of these options. So just turn it off. Just in case you're recording a tutorial, I would suggest you guys to use this option. One more really essential feature for this screen recorder is the hotkeys. And customizable hotkeys are everything that a user wants. Now, you can always set your preferred hotkeys on your keyboard to start and stop recording, to pause or resume recording, to scroll windows, pop open menu, and every other feature over here, you can set up a customizable hotkey. For me, I prefer to set my start and stop recording to F10 because it is really, really helpful and approachable when you are playing the games. And last but not the least is the more option where you can select your screen capture mode. I recommend you guys to keep it to mode 2 and always use hardware acceleration if possible. This will utilize your GPU over your CPU. So this will also make sure that your gameplay performance is not affected by the recording. Hence, it is a very lightweight recorder and it is best for low end PCs. And I would recommend you guys to use it if you are at any level. Once you're done with these settings, you can simply press OK and you are good to record your screen. Here is a short example of my screen recording using this application. Okay, once you have your gameplays recorded, you can see it in the history all right here with the size of the video as well as the ratio as well as the time that the video as well as the length of the video and it also has sort of editing tools on the right side so you can edit your videos on the go as you guys can see this recorder offers you recording with no watermark and it records up to 60 fps without any lags or stutter also take screenshots while you're recording the video and if you want to go and get yourself phone paw screen recorder you can get it from the link in the description below on this website or you can simply free download it for your windows or you can get the complete subscription for the application to unlock some more features which is perfect for all level creators so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out